Hi Libra, Siberia from Cats and Cards. Let's get out messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in the North. Libra, please click that like, subscribe button. To further connect with me, I'll leave everything you need to know in the description box. Libra, you have the Phoenix here. So it's like um, death, rebirth, death, rebirth. So you're coming out of a spiritual awakening. I also see this good gossip card, but this absolutely comes out in the upright, Libra. Um, you're very clever. People know you're very tactful. You're even gorgeous. You're coming up as fire energy, Libra. Fire energy moves in days, so you're very quick. Like you're efficient. When something needs done, you're efficient and proficient. Phoenix energy, um, I feel like you could have had a recent rebirth situation. You're coming out of something. There's some type of, somebody's, somebody could be hitting their uh, 30 or 90 days in recovery. Um, you have a great reputation. Some people know that you just are a good person. Um, these lips are pink. These um, animal totems are fox and phoenix, so those could be significant. Um, pink is the color of forgiveness. Synchronicity is coming in. What else? For Libra, 111 on the clock. Your thoughts are creating your reality at this time. Look at this. Detail, fine print. So is there something you're missing on a document or do you want to know everything? It's like Spirit's telling you you don't need to know everything at this time. This is also your discernment. I feel like you tap a lot into that, Libra. <laughs> Wonderful energy. Give me more for Libra. What does Libra need to know? I think here we're getting surprise messages, surprise downloads for you, Libra. The number three is here. You could be dealing with a Pisces, but these are portals. This is many exit and entry ways into portals, dimensions, into time, space, continuum. These are thoughts. I feel like you're emptying out your thoughts. Moving on. Completed cycle is here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You're really trying to hold it together. I, I do feel like this is the day. You're going to have a good day. You're feeling extroverted. There's something you're extremely happy about. Do not get into that people-pleasing energy or over-the-top energy where you share too much. I, I do feel like there's a, there's a sense of duty for you today to follow some type of rule. There's blue. There's pink here. Blue is throat chakra. Um, somebody needs to work with sapphire. Somebody needs to work with um, goldstone. Um... Here, um, Thursday, Wednesday, and Thursday are significant. Where I live today is Thursday. Um, let's get a little bit more out here. What is the what is Libra moving into? What is this portal? What does Libra need to know? Ooh, there's a lot of fluctuating energies in your energy. Um, Thursday gives me Neptune energy. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, but this is absolutely Aquarius energy. And this is something that you're still continuing to pour into so that you can heal it. Somebody may have um, trauma or you may have like... Um, high blood pressure that you deal with, but you're still pushing through with this fierce energy. Um, somebody's definitely 51 or older. For others of you, you could be 41 to 48. Um, somebody could be 38 years old. Somebody could be 39, 34. Your birthday could be on the 15th, the 18th. Unexpected income is here for you. So there is money paths here for you, Libra, over the next two to seven days. This could be getting things going or getting some type of... Um, healing beginning. It's like um, this uh, lighting the fire and it's like whew, the lover's card. So the lover's card is mirroring. There may be a lot of people that want to spend time with you. You could um, be receiving an apology. Somebody's in despair over you um, because things will not change. The number nine. Um, you, you could have dealt with this person nine years or they're a Virgo. Give me more here. You have the court card, and it wants to come right towards you. There's good karma coming towards you, Libra. Or there's some type of certificate that you're receiving. Wonderful. What is Libra's money looking like? Give me Libra's money. Somebody could be getting car repairs done here. Or you're getting document, document processing over the next two to three days. Over the next nine days, watch something with your car. Give me Libra's money. What does Libra need to know about money? Okay, so these two are the only ones that flipped over. You have the Six of Cups. So there's some type of offer coming in. You're very independent, sexy, abundant, wise. Um, you're showing up as earth energy, very grounded or stable. See, this despair wants to flip over. Like you're trying to get out of it. Stop pouring into 
into despair. Stop pouring into emotions that are dragging you into a lower, lower vibration. You could be dealing with a water sign. There's at least six people or six helpful offers here. This could be, the Nine of Pentacles to me is a social resource. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it's like some type of childhood, um, some type of thrill was snatched from you. Somebody is behind the scenes. Give me this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Or there's a family member you feel like is um, trying to keep something from you. You have the Strength card. You may be um, having tooth problems. You may be having depression problems or somebody needs to get better food in their body. There's bones here. There's there's a sharpness in your tummy or your toes. That energy is here. Somebody could stay up all night or you wake up a few hours, a few times. You wake up at least two to four times in the night. What does Libra need to know about their money? That was a lot here. Ace of Wands is here. In one day, there's something that you're grabbing hold of. Taking balance of communication. Taking balance of pinnacles. Weighing out your options. <clears throat> you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Taurus, a Virgo. Give me more on money. It's like you do wear a mask here. You don't tell people some of what you got going on. It's like nobody needs to know what you're doing. Um, this is a last Eve. Even though you're tattered and torn, somebody could have back pain or somebody could have recently gotten rid of some type of rash. But you're in this Queen of Pentacles energy. You, it's just like you got to go out and get it. Give me some fortune cards for Libra. You could be dealing with a cancer or you're pushing through emotion. Very good. You could have, um, there's something significant with bird energy. There's an eagle and a turkey. Someone is behavingly, behaving stupidly. And then you have eagle triumph over obstacles. So you're going to be getting through it. See, this turkey can't even fly, so they'll never touch where the eagle can go. Problem is to be resolved. Ink pot. There's love here. Wonderful, Libra. Recognition, reward for merit. And then you have woman. Dealings or relationships um, with a woman. Give me a few more. We're going to move over here to the Intuit deck. Right, what should Libra know next 48? There's Empress here, divine feminine energy. There's something about a test of faith. Sagittarius energy comes as healing. Look how this person is sharpening. So it's like you're learning a skill or you're trying to brush up on something. You feel like um, you've been tested a lot. I, I also feel here masculine or feminine. You're healing your feminine energy. Libra, what does Libra need to know about what spirit wants them to know, please? And thank you. Cupcake over here. Unhealthy attachment comes in. I feel like you don't know if you should move forward with something, especially if it becomes um, emotions. Emotions are here. And it's like you have dealt with so much of that. What is... Okay, so don't be in a vibration where you can't make decisions or you attach yourself in an unhealthy manner. So there's Venus energy here. There's moon energy. So that's feminine energy, art, beauty, love. Um, what about new love for Libra? You may not have ideas on how to approach new love. Somebody does feel left out in the cold or you're trying to, um, it looks like close out a chapter with somebody, especially if she is a feminine I feel like this could also be boundaries, and it's like you have to keep doing something over and over again. This gives me that you're learning. Um, this could be school. This could be creating a, a stream of income through a craft. Deep emotional pain is here, and that's where those lack of ideas come in because you're wondering if you're thinking what you're thinking is right. Um, there's also sword energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. She show right up in this energy. Let's get some cards out. So what's the, Libra, there's some type of surprise coming in here. There's, um, this is queen energy or mother energy. Um, the number two. So um, if you're dealing with a feminine, this could be Pisces, Capricorn energy, um, Cancer, Leo, or Virgo energy. What is Libra need to know about the mother. Somebody could be 36, 34 to 36 years old. There's some type of luck or abundance with this energy. Um, if this is a person, they are coming out of south node energy. Libra, your south node is Aries. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries or going after something. Um, I feel like there there is um, somebody wanting your attention. They are vying for your attention, Libra. Give me more on this new person. This person could have... Um, pink in their hair. This person could be significant with sunflowers. This person 
There's Jupiter energy. They're definitely older than 30 years old. They're definitely older than 34. I'm seeing a 39 here as well. Neptune energy. Somebody's trying to disconnect and just go within spiritually. This person could be a spiritualist. The number nine is here. Um, this person could own a small business, disconnect. If you are a masculine, what does masculine need to know at this time? I'm hearing melt. Somebody listens to um, the, the band, the alternative band melt. Give me masculines. Masculines, I feel like your emotional fulfillment is giving. Um, you are giving as well. There's crown chakra here. There's legal issues, especially when it comes to a rebellious female. I feel like you've attracted, um, you're a good karmic, you're a karmically good person, but I feel like something always ends up awry here. You could suffer from depression. Remember, don't manifest in a low vibration because that's what will show up in your manifestation. Give me more for masculines here. What does masculine Libra need to know? Um, don't be haunted by the past. It was a learning um, experience for the 3D. You're here to collect information. Planet Venus is also here. So Friday could be significant. Somebody is haunted by you. Give me... <coughs> there's throat chakra here. <coughs> Give me feminines, please. Feminines, there's a surprise coming in for you. I hear Tom's Diner. There's a um, matter of time. Why do I get four steps to eternal youth? And we wish and somebody does want to communicate with you. Um, this could be boundaries. Calls and texts are coming in. At least five from this person. Give me more for feminine. Yes. Theft ass energy, though, because somebody knows they lost their chance, but they don't want to miss this one with you. Um, I feel like still your back is turned the other way, feminine. You're on an ascension process. But there is a lot coming in here. I feel like there's attraction. What should Libra know about money and attraction? Let's get it. Luck and blessings are coming in. Open doors are here. Need spirits say more. Your third eye, your throat chakra, and your solar plexus is going to be in constant need of that healing. So eat blue fruits and vegetables. Eat bananas. Eat. Um, you are a star seed, a light worker. There's helpful energy coming in. So just think positively of Leo, wow, Libra, excuse me, 1212. There's synchronicities coming in with thinking, dreaming bigger. Just change your mindset so that you can manifest further and take a rest. Please like, subscribe, thanks.